Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are diving into AppFlowy and I'm really excited about this application because it has gone a little under the radar. I haven't picked up this application quickly enough, uh, but I have downloaded the Windows version right now and we are going to test it out by setting up a second brain system similar to the one I have in Notion because as you can see or any type because as you can see this is quite similar to applications like Notion or any type but this is open source so AppFlowy is open source you have the ability to self-host this as well and uh, you can actually use this offline as well and you can remain offline with this application as well um, so just to show you how you would uh, actually self-host this, you can actually press AppFlowy Cloud self-hosted or you can go on to just have it locally. Uh, so you can have it both locally and you can self-host this, which I know a lot of people do like. It is also open source, another thing I know people do like. So we have workspaces here. Uh, I have created one workspace right here. Uh, we also uh, have um, what's called spaces. And uh, in addition to spaces, we can add new pages. And these pages can actually live underneath other pages. So I can actually nest pages within each other. You have the ability to do AI chat as well. Uh, and grid, board, and calendar abilities are actually databases, which I will show you a little later in this video. So the first page I often set up when I am building out these sorts of applications is actually my social media page. Uh, and you can see that this has markdown support. So we can use markdown inside of here to uh, do our text formatting. Uh, but uh, what you will use most inside of applications like this are actually databases but you have a lot of other things as well from in images to dividers tables uh, calendar math equation code block toggle list AI writer emoji and you can insert a date as well or you can reference a document but let's just start off with um, new uh, grid uh, by pressing the grid button right here. So this is a database uh, and inside of these databases we can have a lot of different properties. So we have everything from text to relation. So let's just go ahead and just set this up. So I would probably have one multi-select property uh, called um, social media. Social media like this. Uh, and we can add a couple just to show you YouTube and uh, let's do X as well. It is Twitter or it is X now, but it used to be Twitter. Um, we can go ahead and we can delete this property right here. We have a done uh, property. So I have everything I need actually. Can we filter these out? And of course we can. Uh, so done is unchecked. So you can actually add filters quite similar to Notion databases um, and you can actually uh, toggle on and off different uh, properties and let's see if we can add a couple more views. Let's add a board view and let's add a calendar view as well. So you actually have multiple different views here. Um, and as you can see, this sort of ends up uh, underneath the page so we have the social media page and then underneath that we have the untitled view uh, and underneath that again we have board and calendar so just to change the name of this all ideas uh, this changes right here as well and underneath uh, this database here we actually have uh, the board view and the calendar view uh, so quite similar to Notion and any type um, with the databases and we do like having databases inside of these applications. You have a share here as well where you can publish to the web or you can export it as HTML markdown or just copy it to clipboard. So 
we have the ability to quite easily share this as well. Another thing I do like. Uh, we also have relation properties and we have the ability to open these up. And this looks really similar to uh, to Microsoft Loop. When you open up something in Microsoft Loop databases, they actually look exactly like this. You can start writing inside of here to write down your uh, thoughts, ideas, or in my case, the whole script for a social media idea. Uh, and I can even add uh, grids inside of a document inside of another grid. So a database inside of a document inside of a database. That was really hard to say, but uh, you get the point. You can actually add new databases inside of here as well. We can add, uh, as I said, a bunch of stuff. So we can add a date and I can actually change this date just by clicking on it. That is something I do really like. Let's see what else we can add here. So this is a basic table, not a database, per, but a basic table. A reference calendar, create a new calendar so I can reference a calendar or a board. Uh, so there are a bunch of things you can add here. I want to test out this AI, uh, this AI, uh, ask AI or write with AI. And this seems to be just an AI um, chat interface where you can ask it to write for you. Uh, another one of these uh, uh, applications that just adds um, AI on top of the product. Not necessarily bad, but uh, not the best utilization of AI, at least not in my opinion, but still not terrible. This can actually be a really good Notion contender. I'm guessing that it will be, or it is much faster, but I'm guessing it will continue to be much faster even if I put a bunch of things inside of here. Uh, so I am guessing that it will just end up being much faster than something like Notion. Uh, just simply because uh, of uh, having everything locally. Uh, now let's just fix this up a little bit. So we will call this social media ideas. You could also go ahead and just create a home. So let's try and do that as well. Let's call this home. One thing I don't like is that I don't get the ability to change the title from here. I actually have to press this to change the title. I would rather be able to change the title like this or just by adding an H1. If I try to do that, maybe that works. If I add an H1 like this and I call it social uh, or actually I call it home. I already have social media. If I call it home, I would like this to actually um, to actually change the title. Uh, that's just something uh, I personally would like, but that it is still really early days for an application like this. I think this is version uh, 0 0.65 or something. Uh, it at least isn't version 1. So here I can actually reference a document and I can reference my social media. As you can see, this doesn't have an emoji, but I can add an icon to this uh, and it will show up right here. I would also like to be able to see uh, these in a different way. So any type actually has the puzzle, uh, gives you the option to see this as a card view. That is also something I would like to see this as a card view, but uh, still, I think it is really good. Um, uh, I don't have any major issues with this. You could build out your home board here as well, add dividers and make everything look really beautiful. So this is a Notion type application. Uh, things like Notion and any type are uh, similar to this. This feels like more like Notion than any type. Uh, easier to learn if you're used to Notion. Even if you're not used to Notion, I think this is a little easier to learn. One thing I am, uh, I need to check is whether or not you can actually have, um, you can actually have databases. You can actually have uh, your databases live in multiple different spaces. I'm guessing that is. Uh, 
uh, grid reference and you can actually have multi uh, your databases live in multiple different spaces so sync databases is also a possibility inside of here something many of the applications that are similar to notion uh, do not have yet uh, so i love the fact that this actually has a uh, synced databases so i can have this database and it can live multiple different spaces uh, in different spaces as i said this is more similar to notion than any type uh, and uh, it is an application i'm really excited about because this is this feels like what Notion could be if we had offline access and uh, some of the other things the community have uh, has been wanting for long. For example, a faster application and easier exporting um, is some of the things people I know people uh, would like. You get this and you also get a more privacy focused um, version of Notion with having end-to-end -end encryption and also the ability to only have your files locally so and also the self-hosting so a lot of great options with this it is also open source again something I know a lot of people do like and uh, after playing around with it, I uh, started playing around with it uh, earlier today. I feel like this is probably the best, like, pure Notion uh, competitor, competitor on the market. I feel like things like AnyType are, uh, it is a good application, but it is too niche compared to something like AppFlowy, uh, which is much easier to download and get started with. Now just let us quickly just take a look at the pricing as well. Free plan gives you unlimited pages and blocks, 5 gigs of uh, storage, up to 3 workspaces, intelligent search. That is something I will need to test out a little bit more. 100 AI responses powered by GPT-40. So as I said with the GPT or the AI integration, it is just a chat GPT put inside of the application. Again, not the best use case of AI. With the pro plan for small teams to manage projects and team knowledge. So it seems like they are uh, trying to make uh, their money off of teams. Again, a business model I do uh, like. Uh, you get unlimited storage, up to three workspaces, unlimited AI responses. Choose your preferred most advanced AI models and custom domains coming soon as well. So both of these plans are actually amazing. Uh, really liking this application. If you are looking for a Notion alternative, I think that this is probably the best purest Notion alternative out there. It is uh, more like Notion than any type. Any type is object based, so there is a major difference there. Um, and I uh, really like the application. Of course, there is still development that needs to be done until it is at the level of something like Notion. Uh, but as a start, I feel like this is a great application uh, and it is uh, looking really, really good. So I am actually enjoying uh, this uh this whole uh, application and the feel of the application so this is great you also have the ability to add ai max uh, ai on device so you have those as well uh, as possible add-ons as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video